first memory of this show was the re was the table read because I didn't know any of these people except James, of course, James Duff I knew, um, but I didn't know I didn't know anyone else, and I don't think Tony was there. Tony, uh, I've known for many years. In terms of shooting, in terms of filming, the very first scene I remember, and I, I'm assuming it was the first scene I shot, was a an argument that I had with with Robert Gossett as playing Taylor and we were in the hallway and I wanted to get into this lab and his character uh, who outranked me was gonna let me in and I in effect said well I've got cops here we're gonna pull guns and start shooting people and get in that damn lab and it was a, it was a really good conf conflict scene and I I recall that's I think that's the first first scene I remember shooting anyway. The kiss of death would have been if I said this show's definitely gonna make it so I, I really didn't, I didn't know. I honestly, I really didn't know. When we started shooting the first episode, uh, the first episode had a, it was brilliantly written and brilliantly directed and put together. And I said, well, you know, this, this has some oomph to it. You know, they, they might buy this. They might buy this. And they did, thank you. Well, God knows he, uh, he, he, he looks younger than he did when we started. <laughs> I think essentially and basically his, his basis of who he is and, and what the character has been built on has not changed uh, a great deal. Um, he has a much greater zest for life than he lets on. Uh, nobody will, gets married five times and doesn't like to have fun. I mean, uh, thinks they, at least he, each time he thought it was going to be more fun than it turned out. Uh, nobody has the children and grandchildren and live the life he lives, and at the same time, he really doesn't want anybody to know that he likes life as much as he does. And those sort of basic tenets of his and, and, and his grumpiness, those haven't changed a great deal. But that moment, the moment that he has had with both these women have changed him. Um, it wasn't that he didn't respect women, he just saw them in a different way. He saw everyone as a potential ex-wife. Uh, that's, that's, that's what women were, somebody you fell in love with and then hated and bought him a house. And that's sort of what he saw. And then these two women, and of course for seven years, a very strong woman, uh, change, change his outlook on how you deal with women and how you deal with people. And then the same has happened with, with, uh, with Raider. For that to evolve has been, has been a lot of fun. And Tony and I were in the car, I was in the van or something, and, and, and somebody remarked, said, my God, my God, <laughs> we've got to get this into a reality show. Nobody would believe this. Everything he does aggravates me to death. And on the other side of the coin, everything I do, he it makes him laugh. I mean, he, says he laughs unendingly at me, and that aggravates me, and, and then he just giggles more. And we bicker and we argue, but he also knows, and I know, if I, if I, need, if I need somebody behind my back, he is, uh, he is he's the one that'll be there. Oh, sure, uh, I think they'll, <laughs> they'll, have to, they'll have to help they can pick me up in an assisted living home somewhere to come do it. Or I'll just move into Delancey's, the bar, permanently. <laughs> they they just, walk, just walk over and I'll shoot it from there. Uh, yeah, of course, you know, yeah, why not? As long as, long as the public wants us to be here.